Hey YouTube, welcome back. Today we have this problem called best time to buy and sell stock. Uh, the problem goes like that. You are given an array called prices. Well, prices of I is the price of a given stock on the ith day. You can, you want to maximize your profit by choosing a single day to buy one stock and choosing a different day in the future to sell that stock return the maximum profit you can achieve from this transaction if you cannot achieve any profit return zero so we have this one this prices array so the maximum price should be five and why because we could because we can buy on the second day with the price one and we can sell in the i guess fifth day with the price six so we make profit is five here the profit is zero because any day like we can buy in seven if we sell it in six we lose four three one lose the same in six and four and three and one and the problem seems like i'm searching for the low the lowest number and the highest number that is after it not before it so the lowest number here is one and i'm trying to see first of all i guess seven is seven lower than one yes so let's just take another new current which will be one is one lower than five okay what is the different the different is four let's continue if one lower than three yes what is the different it's two okay let's stick with five is one lower than uh, uh six yeah what is the difference five okay so with this the new profit and we do this with four and we just stick with the new profit so this is the way that i am thinking how we can solve this problem and there's two main ways to solve this problem there's one uh, will be brute force and this is what we do in this video and the other one it will be to have uh, a one pass uh, we will talk about one pass in the next video but today we will we will focus on the brute force so what will happen the brute force we first we could have let uh, uh, max uh, profit and it will equal zero and I will return it okay next profit and I will loop for let I equals zero equals zero and I less than prices dot length minus one and i plus plus and i will say i will loop again i will say four because i want to loop through through prices and i want to compare each number each price with all the other prices so i will loop again for let j equals i plus one okay um j less than prices dot length and g plus plus and i will say uh, uh, const uh, uh, profit will equals uh, the the difference between the profit is the difference between two numbers so it will be different between prices of g minus prices of i because this all this is a profit the profit here is is like uh, one minus six it's five so um i will say if the current profit profit bigger than max profit the max profit will equals the new profit so we update the max profit and let's just run and it worked 
uh, let's just submit and I guess it will not be a good one but let's just see anyway it takes too much time it takes forever to load I guess I have to refresh it let's see submissions oh okay I get time okay <laughs> we get time limited because we loop two times let's just try to do it again because we have O of n squared I guess it will not accept us to do it but you see how bad this was, was you see how 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 long it takes to run this one because we compare every one with the other element okay and we get the time limit exceeded but if we run it it will work anyway it will be accepted and the runtime is 100 milliseconds which is too much so this is it for today's video um you try to look at this one and look at this solution and i will link the uh, uh, the solution uh, i will put the the link for the solution so you can look at it and in the next video we will look about how we can solve or how we can make this solution quite better okay so yeah that's it for this video and i hope my solution is quite good this is not a good solution but i hope my description for this bad solution is good <laughs> okay uh yeah so if um if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so whenever i miss a video and see you in future problems